Good morning! It is Monday, the start of a new week and we just had a lovely walk around a lake at, at which we are parked. You can't currently see anything because we are parked against the bushes but we will now have breakfast and afterwards I will show you the lake. We are having overnight oats again but this time I didn't add the uh, cocoa powder and strawberries because my grandmother gave me so many jars of jam. So this is rhubarb and raspberry and um, that will now be added just for some, some delicious flavour and that will be our breakfast for the day. This is the lovely lake at which we were parked. We are parked up behind those bushes there and this is an area in which people walk their dogs and uh, we have seen so many off-leash dogs around our van. And Moji and Venus have made some new friends. It's also very good for Venus as well to meet few dogs when she's still young. Um, as most of the dogs here are very well behaved. So that's great for her to meet some calm dogs. And uh, she loves the attention as well from both dogs and people. So that's great. So we are now uh, preparing to set off. We will um, use our phone, hopefully find some internet again and um, find another camper spot. Uh, probably one that we have to pay for and um, then in, in the hopes of finding good Wi-Fi um, Yesterday we managed to upload our blog post using uh, Yardi's phone uh, internet uh, Somewhere along the road here at like 11 o'clock and <laughs> we sat on a, um, a Small bike road and we found internet and uploaded our blog post um, But we also have to upload these videos. So um, it's a bit difficult to find proper internet and we will need some Wi-Fi because it will be a too will be a bit too much internet for um, for the phone but this was a great view we walked around the entire lake this morning I think that was around 45 minutes as you can see it goes up quite far so that was fun for Venus as well that was a first longer walk yeah it's lovely here so this is where we are parked you can see the sticker on the side solar panels doing the work we're now just having another quick walk before we decide where we'll go and where we'll drive for the day so today we are actually driving off quite early rather than driving at in the evenings as we did before that's because we really need internet to do our work But the dogs have enjoyed a great morning here. We've been driving for a while now and we just passed uh, Hamburg and stopped off at a parking lot so that Yori could go to the toilet and um, I cut up some veggies so we've got some cucumber, carrot and uh, bell pepper for lunch and uh, we also have an apple and some crackers and whilst we were there uh, a man approached Jordi and uh, asked if he could take a look in the van and we then also checked out his Sprinter so he had a 2004 Sprinter which was a long wheelbase, it was a massive van and uh, quite high as well a total, totally different conversion he said he used it for holidays but also to go to conventions so he said he had just been to Hungary and uh, he was now driving back up to Denmark so uh, he's actually driving in front of us I think uh, yeah it was lovely meeting another person that also con converted his own van and now we're just going to keep driving for I think another 45 minutes and then we hope to find a camping spot that has good Wi-Fi so that we can finally do some work today and perhaps tomorrow as well so that we can get things back on track before we keep driving towards Denmark but as we have surpassed Hamburg already uh, we are very very close to Denmark and we should only be 400 kil kilometers away from uh, Copenhagen actually which is um, completely at the north or uh, northeast of uh, Denmark so we're very close and for me that will be a new country to visit and I think Yodi doesn't remember visit it, visiting it either um, so that should be very fun experience a new country and uh, see the na 
nature there. Very excited to reach that country, but for now we're still in Germany and enjoying the time here as well. We're now still driving on the highway and we just saw this field which is completely covered in solar panels. And it's something we keep seeing in Germany, not necessarily these uh, fields, but um, farms and houses in general have quite a few solar panels. So um, as we were driving uh, up to the parking lot yesterday, there were so many farms that were fully covered in solar panels. And I think in Germany, at least it used to be that way, uh, people were subsidized to buy these uh, panels so that, would be cheap, so that it would be cheaper to um, have a sustainable option for power. And um, yeah, we see them a lot. We also see an increase in the Netherlands, but here in Germany it's very, um, very common to have a lot of solar. So that's something that we really, really like to see. And our van also has them, of course. We have four solar panels, 400 watts, but what the other people have is just crazy. I think they have to sell the energy again, by the way, because it's too much, probably, for them to use. It should be. We just drove up to a camper spot and we are parked at a very lovely spot. It's actually next to a campsite, so we also uh, paid 10 euros to stay here and 250 extra to um, have access to toilet, bathroom, stuff like that. But we also have quite a large spot. We even have some grass next to it, so that's amazing for the dogs. And we just went to a lake to swim. Um, I actually have a fear of open water. I'm not sure why, I know that many people have it. Um, <clears throat> so I do go in and walk in a little bit, but swimming, it just really takes a lot of time for me to uh, actually dare myself to do it. Yori loves it though, um, but the dogs love it as well. So they could swim and uh, tire down a little bit. And um, They're now playing in the grass here. And it was actually Venus's first time swimming and she just knew how to do that immediately. I mean, that's quite natural for dogs to do anyways, but we were surprised and she loved it. Mojo is so annoyed by her trying to play with Mojo whilst swimming. Mojo just wants to swim and chase a ball or something, but we didn't take one. So, so she was bullied by Venus the entire time, but I think they tired down a bit. So that's good after this morning's walk, which, is, which was also quite long. Um, this also helped and then we'll do a longer walk later on as well so that they can tire down properly um, Since we're still driving a lot and uh, have so much work to ca catch up on It's been a little bit more difficult to do a lot with the dogs um, Although we go on so many small walks. We haven't really done any Really active stuff that we they are used to and that we are used to So we hope to be able to do that again from now on and although today wasn't too much, we did something, so that's good. Yodi is now actually in the shower and I will go after him. And um, it's nice as well. Of course, living the van life, you don't have the option to shower that often. I do know that some people take a gym membership for, a, for facilities that they can find throughout the States or something. But there is no such, such thing here. Um, there is not a, a gym that you can find throughout Europe. Not as far as I know. The dogs now have something nice to chew on. Some dried tripe. So that's just meat. Mojo is almost finished. But Venus still ha probably has 15 minutes to go or so. <laughs> it's now the next day. And yesterday didn't turn out to be as fun as we thought. So we went swimming with Mojo and Venus and they had fun and they were just chilling in the grass. And after a while Mojo got quite hot, she gets qu warm quite easily actually. Um, so we uh, took her in the van and gave her the option to either sleep on the cold floor or in the crate. And the crate has a very comfortable, comfortable mattress so she could either choose which she wanted. She slept on the floor for a while and then went into her crate. and. She walked out for a second and then back in and I think 15 to 30 minutes later or so I walked out of the van and um, she walked out with me and suddenly there was a bit 
of water on the floor and I didn't know what it was and I looked in the crate and saw that the entire bed was soaked and so was Mojo. Now this bed is waterproof but I could see that it was pee um, and it's actually very unusual for Mojo to pee in a bed in whole indoors. She hasn't done that for three years and um, for her to sleep in it voluntarily because she could have gotten out of the crate and slept on the floor if she wanted to or just start barking she didn't so that was odd uh, so I cleaned the mattress and baking soda is is really a lifesaver <laughs> the scent was out of the mattress immediately so uh, that was left to dry in the grass and um, she was just chilling and then I saw her pee and it was red so we immediately took off and went to visit a, a vet and um, luckily since we we're in Germany we we're actually uh, able to find veterinarians veterinary offices quite easily and they're also often open until 7 p.m. Um, so we I think they helped us within 10 minutes and uh, checked her body completely and as always everything was fine uh, except for her bladder uh, it was really um, it was still palpable even though she had already peed five times or something in the the past 30 minutes and a lot as well in the crate so it's a bit odd so we thought she might have drunk a lot in uh, in the lake or something so that would be why she would have so much water in her body uh, but the fact that it was bloody um, the veterinarian said that it would probably be a uh, bladder infection but it could also be kidney stones kidney failure or a tumor um, well her health is something that we have focused on since well, a few days after we got her when we knew anything that wasn't healthy we took that away and uh, researched it all so the best food that we can get her and stuff like that has always been at the top of our priorities but um, so that would be why the veterinarian and also because of her age would think that the other options would be odd so we are going with a bladder infection for now and we have inflammatory medicine and anti antibiotics so we hope that that will resolve the issue but it was a scary moment because because blood in urine is never a good sign um, and this uh, camper spot that we are paying for should have good Wi-Fi but the res but we can't really find a good connection uh, so and since editing the website goes online it always takes a lot longer if the internet connection isn't great so um, we actually wanted to uh, update everyone on the new blog new um, uh, domain but it has taken a bit taken a bit longer than we thought and it's already around three o'clock now um, but I cleaned up I made sure everything is ready for us to leave um, and yeah we can't, can't wait to get the website up and um, update everyone so today or mainly yesterday hasn't haven't been too great um, and we hope that once we get that website finished and um, yeah that we can move on and do some other stuff um, but Mojo will have to rest for now. So that's how far we have already gotten in a couple of days. Um, 
we were very excited to probably enter Denmark tomorrow. But for now, we are just going to enjoy another day at the beach and write a blog post and take some pictures and stuff. And um, yeah, then we're off. and we slept at the same spot again, well, same parking lot, different spot. Um, and this morning we actually see, probably, some other campers here on the beach, a tiny tent. So we're not the only ones enjoying this view. So this is our final morning in Germany. We are on our way to Denmark today and we are probably driving all the way up north as um, the nature areas around that particular site are supposedly the best. Um, so yeah, that's our plan for the day driving there. Come here, Macho, here. We're now on our morning walk along the beach. There's a nice path here. We walked here yesterday as well. Thought I'd update you guys on Mojo's health. Over the past, I think, 36 or 48 hours, her urine has been completely normal and she eats those tablets as if they were treats. So I think they're working. And let's hope that it indeed is just a simple bladder infection so after this walk we will decide what we'll have to for so after this walk we will decide what we have for breakfast we could make some uh, banana and oat pancakes try that without eggs see if that works not sure um, and there is also a bakery right next to the parking lot at which we are parked but then again, we have some oats, we have some banana, and uh, yeah, the bread just costs a bit more money, and we have to be very strict not to spend too much. So we'll see what we have, and afterwards, I think we're off to Denmark. And we can actually see Denmark from here. So we are parked up in a city called Flensburg, or in America I think you'd say Flensburg. Um, this here is Germany, and this here is Denmark. So we're actually at the border, um, but we're driving all the way up north, all the way there, and that should be around 300 kilometers. <laughs> 